I don't agree with Kanye. I don't stand with Kanye. You are now watching AK Debris on YouTube. Welcome back to the house of knowledge, wisdom, evolution, and revolution. Make sure to click the like button, smash the subscribe button, and leave a comment for the algorithm. Get comfortable, grab a bottle of water, and back to you, AK. This is Hannah, AK Debris, London. I don't plan on making this a long video, it's no need. I don't have a sponsor because everything I say today is me and my opinion only. Please remember, I'm not always gonna be right. Please remember that. Yeah, please remember that uh, before we start this video, this topic is not this topic is not necessarily controversial per se, but oh, uh, there's a cat in my building. Anyway, this this topic is not necessarily controversial per se, but it is quite touch touchy touchy because there's a lot of Bear with me, guys. It's like seven in the morning. This topic is touchy touchy because it's a lot of emotions running around. And as I've said, everything I'm about to say is my opinion. You may disagree with me. Please, dog. I'm trying to shoot a video, Brad. But it is no cap, and eh, you guys know me. I'ma always say what I think, and you could, you're free to disagree with me. I'm not gonna disrespect nobody. Sometimes I go hard for comedy, but everything I do is with, within, within, uh, the YouTube community guidelines. By the way, this show is also available on Rumble. I have to say that I had to say this disclaimer also this too because I know it's not a bad word. There's a word that starts with R A and ends with ism. It's not a bad word, but since God has blessed us, thank you, Lord, alhamdulillah. Since God has blessed me and the show and blessed me with the gift, God. Bless me with the gift, sorry for the noises. The gift that is you guys, my supporters, uh, which I'm very grateful for, and I always give back and show love whenever I can. With that, it has also brought me, um, let's just say, not haters. I'm tired of using negative words. I'm trying to make you feel good today. It has brought... Allah, I ask for the strength. I'm tired. It has brought me haters. So every time I want to say the word, you hear this? Watch this. Chill, bro. Cut my train of thought anyway. So haters always want to report. I had to appeal false reports here Instagram. So I'm moving careful, moving tactical. I'm not giving them any reason. 
again, this is not going to be a long video. Let's get straight to it, okay? Straight to the point. Tired. I got to go and, 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 and possibly hit a blunt, collard greens, and, 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 and maybe a couple beans. I don't recommend any type of behavior, but God is still working on me. I ain't perfect. You know who else ain't perfect? Jesus. Not Jesus. I'm talking about Yay. Formerly known or I, I, like listen, bro. I don't care if it's formerly Negro, I'm not gonna call you Yeezy. You are Kanye West to me. Kanye, I don't stand with you on this one. You guys know me. I will say the truth. And I like I don't care if you're my friend. When you do wrong, you do wrong. Even though I might, like, let's say you start, <laughs> let's say we in the club, right? And you pick out a, uh, a, a scruffle and watch my mouth YouTube. And maybe you did, you kind of in the wrong. I will calm it down. If they attack, I will be like, calm down. I will defend you, my brother. But when we go home, I would tell you, hey, don't think I'm a, you're in the wrong. So that's just what I'm like. I love Kanye and his music. I absolutely do not agree with um, the D word, con. Hold on, let me say it, it don't matter. I don't care if they demonetize. I got money. What the hell is DEFCON? Is that a video game? I know Def Jam. They just dropped him from the label, by the way. I know what Def Jam is. Uh, I know VidCon for YouTubers. When this channel grows, maybe I'll meet you guys, all my supporters in LA. VidCon. I know VidCon. I know the uh, 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 Comic Con for comics and shows and TV. DefCon? DefCon 3? Maybe I've been too busy working because I haven't heard of that game, bro. Okay, 3? I never heard of one or two. Defcon three. Hmm? I'll, uh, the only three, actually. <laughs> I'm still. I'm just. I'm on. A, I'm on a two right now. Modern Warfare two comes out in two days. It's twenty sixth. You might see this on the twenty sixth, twenty seventh. So I'm gonna be busy. And no, I don't play online. I don't want to play with you. Get out of here. I play campaign story mode. But Kanye, I think that was stupid, brother. Listen to me, black man. If you disagree, this is the part I was getting to all along. You guys know I love Kanye and his music. I have Jewish friends. I was raised Muslim. I wasn't raised Muslim in the West. I was raised Muslim in, in the Middle East. I grew up in Saudi Arabia. Shout out to the new king who brought freedom and, and, and progress. Excuse me and a progressive mentality to uh, the land of Islam and, and peace. And, and, and he took out the extremist Wahhabi, uh, they call him an Arabic ulama, the, assigned, the official people assigned to dictate which hadith is right. 
I'm not religious, but nonetheless, before this new king and the crown prince, he's not perfect, I know, he got the chains up. Before, before him, the old king, King Abdullah, God bless his soul, times were different, and not to, I'm not picking beef with the, with the royal family, okay? Because, again, no man is perfect. But I seen this with my own eyes. It was, it was a point of time because of what's going on in Israel, Palestine. And the whole Muslim world took a stand with Palestine. Because of politics or whatever, nonetheless... I'm not trying to start nothing, but back in the day, way back, in some Arabic schools, you know, uh, it, every we had an Islam class in every public and private schools, unless you go to like the uh, it's called like American school, uh, school and stuff, and it was like some elite private school. But I had an Islamic class. I went to a private medium half ghetto school but in a public and for the most some private medium ones like mine i don't want to say they taught us to hate jews because the idea was already floating in the air without islam class because a lot of palestinians experienced the horrors under the 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 you know, and I, I, again, it's not my place to say, I'm just a rapper turned YouTuber turned. I said this back in the day, in that environment, and I'm gonna say it here today. <clears throat> Let me hit the vape. Clear my voice because the emotions, I still feel them. Palestinians, I hear you and I feel your pain. But human, especially in this case, black man, but this goes for all man, including the Jewish. The Jewish man is not your enemy. I repeat, the Jewish man is not your enemy. If you're from Palestine and you've suffered on being a, a victim of that political uh, uh, instability or conflict, my heart goes out to you. My thoughts are with you. I promise I sympathize with you and empathize with you. But it doesn't change the fact that the Jewish man is not your enemy. Your enemy, well, you shouldn't have enemies, but your problem is with the with the government that's doing this, including your own, because we're not perfect. You see the Arab world and the African world. What's happening in Sudan is horrible. I used to hate Sudan until I grew up and did research and realized that we are the ancient Egyptians who built the world. We invented science. You're watching me on a, on, a, on a screen made of silicon. Who knew first that these crystals like silicon can carry information? My ancestors. They gave you mathematics. Uh, you know, you got water systems. You take a dump in a bathroom. 
heating systems. The Romans stole it. But that's neither here nor there. I was mad. And I can't tell you, don't be mad. <sighs> Let's be clear, I am not telling you your emotions are unjustified. I am not dismissing what happened to you or what some of you continue to go through. The world is not perfect. But I've said this in my first red pill video, the real red pill. Watch both, by the way. Make sure you watch both real and red, red, red pill and why I'm not red pill. I said, we as a people, even as billionaires, we're still people. Power is a drug and it corrupts everybody, mostly, even the good people, as proven by the Stanford prison experiment. Your enemy is not the, 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 the Apologize for that, my friends, my YouTube family, and my extended family of haters that watch me anyway. I don't know why. So, what was I saying? Yeah. I, if you've watched me, you have know that. I don't like a nihilistic approach on life. A lot of you don't think for yourself. And a lot of you are glued. I'm gonna talk about this, but a lot of you are glued to the problem. You know where I get this mentality from? I, I don't know how to code, like write code. I know a little bit HTML, enough to do tricks on websites. I don't use it for bad, never, or illegal, never. But to be, allegedly, I'm not a, I'm white hat, guys. I don't do crime. In order to be a hacker, these idiots, it's always trying to call me a fake hacker. They go to school for two, three years. They pass a few tests. They forget how to do whatever they get out. I'm self-taught everything I know. But here's one thing that never changes. Being a hacker doesn't mean coding, dummy, bozo. Being a hacker doesn't mean going to school and getting a degree. Huh? And getting a job, dude, a job. Nothing wrong with working, but I'm saying for those few that keep trying to metasploit. One guy tried to check me. He's like, if you're a real hacker, hacker, what is metasploit? I told him it's a tool on Linux. What does it do? I told him I don't remember. I think it's a... Uh, I named a few tools. He's like, ha ha, I tell you, you're not a real hacker. I'm a, I was like, shut up. You're trying to quiz me for what you learn in school. I'm self-taught. Ain't no hacker using Metasploit, bruh. What do you think this is, 2001? Buddy's trying to tell me about, um, what was it? The tool that <laughs> decrypts Wi-Fi, the WEP, like... We're in 2022. 
go kick rocks. In order to be a hacker or a coder, let's say, let's say hacker first. This is the box. This is, you are here. The box. Your thinking is limited within the box. This goes left. This goes right. You got a routine. Go here, go there. Da, 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 da. And you're stuck within the box. Being a hacker doesn't mean coding. It means thinking outside of the box. That's it. And I don't know how to code. I'm not, I still have to hire. Uh, it's none of your business, it's my own companies, but this is what I know about coding. Coding, like you want to be a coder, you want to be a software developer. Coding is a lot like playing God. Some of you call yourself coders. One of you school, school kids that keep trying to check me on my skills, right? You're fake, dude. Just because you wrote a program on mother effing Python that says, hello world, doesn't make you a coder, doesn't make you a developer, doesn't even make you my left nut. Actually, the right one. The right one hangs. The left hangs lower than the right. Don't judge. My left nut got more skills in coding than you. To be a real software developer, it's not about how many languages you know or this or that. It's about solving a problem. I repeat, it's about Make sure it's about solving a problem. YouTubers on YouTube making good money, God bless them. But, and you watch them, I watch them too. But they are so hung up on the problem, like I said in the red pill. Men got to work hard to get the female, females, just that and that. We all knew this. The problem is not new. We've been talking about the problem for so long that it created a, a, a negative energy, a sense of nihilism. I don't remember the definition of nihilism, but what I think is like, oh, the world is sad. It's cold. Like a Machiavellian view of the world. If you think like this, you're not gonna move forward. I'm sorry. You're not. This tech background brought me this different perspective. Also growing up in Saudi brought me this perspective. I said this in, the, in that red pill video. I don't believe in politics. I think politics is like the real housewives of, of <laughs> what was it? Hip hop Atlanta, or what was it? Keeping up with the Kardashians. That's what politics is. That's what the news is. Like CNN, Fox. This is a liberal media. This is a, a, a conservative media. Man, if you don't shut up, they both spread fear. Without fear, you wouldn't watch them. You watch AK, because I give you the truth, good or bad. I don't believe, this is my opinion. This is not misinformation. YouTube, Mwah, Susan, Habibati, I love you, Susan. I love you. This is only my opinion. Take it with a grain of salt. I've said before that my auntie got pew, 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 anonated, starts with A-S-S, -S. 
Not the booty. She got assassinated. I don't care no more demonetized. Let me talk. My auntie got taken out of, she got a TV turned off. Don't feel bad. She's a hero. Because I, I, her name lives on through me. I fight her fight. She was a journalist. She criticized Omar al-Bashir, the Sudani president. I took that red pill early that politics is BS because Omar al-Bashir only stepped down two years ago or last year with the recent revolution, which you haven't heard of thanks to your media. You know what's going on in Sudan? No, but you know what's going on with Kanye and Abu Ghazatu. So you know all of that, right? They didn't even bother to report. I was born in 97. Al-Bashir was president. He took my auntie out. He was president. I'm 24 years old, and he only stepped down last year. He was president 10 years before I was born. He was a dictator. He did war crimes. Those pictures you see, and, and, and please tell me it's still recording. Let me keep it closed. When you look up Sudan and Google images, you see the starving kid with dirty water and the UN has to step in and send food and donations. And then the military comes and rob them. <sighs> yeah, you probably never heard of it. You're more worried about having a girlfriend. The red pill. I should shove a pill somewhere, you know it. You know it very well. I don't believe in politics. For 30 years, this man been a pre president since my mom was in college. Huh? Anyone who criticizes him, pew. What they did to my auntie, they didn't just pew, pew, pew. They pulled the, what was it, R. Kelly? Not even R. Kelly, because they didn't even put them over a cross. At least Bill Cosby, I'm not defending it, but I'm just hypothetically. At least he had the courtesy to do the R thing, S-A, huh? At least he was, he was human about it. <laughs> he put the Mali over in the champagne, like Rick Cross said. My auntie didn't have that luxury. They just straight up gang. I'm talking military police. And then pew, 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 threw her body in a river. When a family goes to the police, like, they did this to her. The police laughs and says, can't do nothing. Case closed, no investigation. Meanwhile, Omar al-Bashir, the guy who, uh, 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 you know, asked for that to happen to his critics and many others, including males. Oh yeah, I'll make a separate video one day about the bottle, the glass bottle. The torture stuff that, that, that you, you never heard of, you don't care. Remind me to tell you what they did with the glass bottle. I'm talking guys, remind me to tell you what they did with the broomstick. It's more than you think, I'm just tip of the iceberg. Remind me to make a video. Meanwhile, Omar Bashir, he was hosting fake politics, fake elections. Some years, the only elector, election was Omar Bashir versus Omar Bashir. And guess what? He won for 30 years, every year. Guess how much, guess how much the win was? Like Trump was 44, Joe Biden. Omar Bashir said, ha ha. Yeah, soft Americans. He was winning by, brace yourself. Again, 
I'm not trying to, I'm not saying anywhere else is fake politics. This is what I think. Omar was winning by 99.9%. 99.9. He divided the country, made the South fight the North. Sudan and Egypt used to be one, separated. These pro-black people, some of them have good points and messages. But the white man is not your enemy. Slavery was unfortunate. But... uh, But the white man is not your enemy. The, The systematic injustice in the system is your enemy. Police brutality, the industrial prison industry complex, that's your enemy. The white guy on the street doesn't deserve your disrespect. I've had issues with black people and white people. When I have an issue with the white man, I don't go on Twitter saying DEFCON on all white men. Kanye, in case you watch this, I don't care about your celebrity status. I empathize with Danda, Allah irhamha, God bless her soul. It's not easy seeing your wife, your wife just like four months ago on TV talking about her and, 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 and ski, getting it on in front of the fireplace. No man should have to take that. So have some sympathy. Kanye, we are not the first Jews. Stop it. Don't try to use that as, oh, we're all Jews, bruh. Is your problem with Jewish people and Judaism, as a religion, as an ideology, they thought, whatever. Or is it with the businessman or business people who ripped you off, stole your ideas? Because I go through it. Is your problem with the Jewish people or your handler who happens to be Jewish? Jewish people are business savvy. Jewish culture, sure, raised them to be like that, but shouldn't we learn from it? This is 2022. Dr. Martin Luther King said, we must learn to live together as brothers or pair. We must learn to live together as brothers or perish together as fools. Slavery is over. Prison complex industry is slavery, sure, but that kind is over. Racism is still around, sure. But you must be the change you wanna see. We can either sit here and talk about the white man did this to us, the white man did that to us, or we can try to bridge the gap of the today and our kids. Because I don't want my kids living in continuous beefing. I have a Jewish friend who had... I'm done. But again, your problem is not with the... I have a Jewish friend, we're both Gen Z. I didn't have a slave master. I'm in the here today. And your actions affect the tomorrow and the here now. 
there's so much hate and separation, and that's what they want. So we must learn to live together as brothers or perish as fools. Hit like, smash subscribe. Kelp. New video tomorrow. Peace out, okay? Take the good message. If you disagree, let me know. Keep an open mind. Be kind to your brother. It's only one human race. Even young Pharaoh came around. I'm not saying what didn't happen, didn't ha what happened didn't happen. But I'm saying your anger is misdirected. Your anger is not at the white man, it's at the system. The white man is here just like you. We can either keep talking about the problem or we can get to the solution and bridge the gap for a better tomorrow. I don't wanna live in a tomorrow full of tension. Be like Canada. Peace out.